Hello everyone, my name is Rodrigo Lasso Campo, your English teacher from Easy Training, and this is Is English. It is very nice for me to be back to you and present two lessons in one. That is lessons 215 and 216 part 2 in which we are going to be doing the activities to choose menwear and choose women wear. If you took uh, the two lessons about these two subjects, you know what they are about. This time we are going to be doing the activities. Well, let's come to the point. There are three activities in these two lessons. The first is about illustrating four different kinds of shoes that people wear. Four different kinds of shoes men and women wear. The second is about words having the sh sound in the beginning and words that do not have that sound. And the last is about nouns. We will be doing these activities in that order. Follow me, please. This is activity one. It is written in the main idea that people, in this case, men and women, wear many kinds of shoes. The activity consists in illustrating four different kinds of shoes men and women wear. You can either draw pictures or paste pictures from any source you have available. In my case, I'm going to drag the pictures from this lesson and paste them accordingly. Let's do it. Here we are. On the left are three different kinds of shoes men wear. Wingtips, flip-flops, and slippers. Perhaps you remember the writer writing that men wear wingtips to dance flip-flops in summer to the beach and slippers to rest their feet at home after a busy day. These uses can change from a person to another and from maybe a region to another, from a country to another. I think it is rather circumstantial I mean, it depends on several circumstances. Here on the right is a pair of flip-flops, a kind of shoes that women wear. And in these two circles, I'm going to paste other two different kinds of shoes that women wear. Here we are. These are pumps and these are winter boots. The writer says that pumps are a kind of dress shoes and women wear them to a dance. And about winter boots, the writer says they are warm shoes and women wear them in the snow. Summing up, we can say that people wear many kinds of shoes. Among some other kinds, men wear wingtips, flip-flops, and slippers. They wear wingtips to a dance. These are um, dress shoes flip-flops mm, in summer to the beach 
and slippers after a busy day to rest their feet at home. As to women, among some other kinds, they wear pumps, flip-flops, and winter boots. The writer says that pumps are a kind of dress shoes that they wear to a dance. Flip-flops are summer shoes that women wear to the beach, the writer says. And women wear winter boots in the snow to keep warm because these are warm shoes. Just like men's shoes, when and where a woman wears a certain kind of shoes is circumstantial. It depends on several factors. Now let's turn to the next activity. This activity is about words that begin in the sh sound, which is represented with the letters SH, as in shoes. First, we are going to name the pictures, and after naming the pictures, we will write the SH under the pictures whose names begin in S-H, the sh sound. And last, you and I are making the sentences about words that begin in the sh sound and words that do not begin in the sh sound. Got it? Let's do it. These are shoes. This is a shirt. This is a cat. This is a shower. This is a shark. This is a shell. And this is a van. Shoes begin with the SH or the SH sound. Shirt begins with the SH or the SH sound. Cat does not begin with SH or the SH sound. Shower begins in SH or the SH sound. Shark begins with SH or the SH sound. Shell begins with SH or the SH sound. Van does not begin with SH or the SH sound. Here I have written the letters SH under the pictures whose names begin with SH or the sh sound just like shoes. So we can say that shoes, shirt, shower, shark, and shell begin with SH or the sh sound. But cat and van do not begin with the SH or the SH sound. To finish with, I have labeled the pictures with their names. A shirt, a cat, a shower, a shark, a shell, and a van. That's it. 
Now, let's go to the, next, the last activity. The last activity is about nouns. Perhaps you remember that nouns are words naming persons, places, things, and I have added a new category that is animals. Then here are some pictures and we are going to identify what these pictures illustrate, what these pictures depict, and we are going to sort them out into these three categories, persons, place, or thing. First, let's identify what is in each picture. Well, this is a beach. These are sneakers. This is a boy or perhaps a man. These are the woods. This is a park. These are boots. This is a woman. This is a girl. These are slippers. And these are socks. Now let's see which category each uh, picture fits in. The beach is a place. Sneakers are a thing. A boy or a man is a person. The woods are a place. A park is a place. Boots are a thing. A woman is a person. A girl is a person. Slippers are a thing, and socks are a thing. Here we are. I have pasted each picture under the right heading. Then we can say that a man, a woman, and a girl are persons. A beach, the woods, or a forest and a park are places and sneakers boots slippers and socks are things well to finish with let's say that man woman girl beach forest or woods, park, sneakers, boots, slippers, and socks are nouns. That is, these words name persons, places, and things. Well, dear students, I guess I've got to go now. It was so nice for me to talk to you again. Hopefully, I'll be back with a new video, a new lesson soon. Goodbye now.